What's up and welcome guys to One Oak Mentoring, the number one virtual teen mentoring service program, community, business of all times. What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? I hope it's great. Um, I was supposed to put this video out a while back, right? So I put a video out saying that the last day was school. Um, the last video I did was the last day of school. This is like a couple of weeks before this. <clears throat> uh, well, just let me get into it. So at the group home that I work at, um, well, let's kind of take it back a little bit more. Um, last, the week before this, uh, a lot of the guys, they were just getting excited. Um, and they were talking about uh, they were supposed to be having a football game, right? So this is like a really big football game. <clears throat> it's actually sponsored by the school. So when um, school is almost about to be out, they'll just have like random activities, like fun stuff for the guys to do, right? No like sitting on a computer, reading books and stuff, all that boring stuff. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but they have little activities. And um, a lot of these guys were really excited about this uh, particular event. A lot of them um, love football and sports. So just random kids from both sides, which it'll be uh, Bridges and Horizons, right? So they all come together. And I think they play Bridges against Horizons, right? But Bridges has more kids. Um, but yeah, there can only be so many uh, players on the field at one time. So it kind of works out. But each time I see some of the guys, they'll be like, hey, man, you're going to watch me play. You're going to come watch me play. You know, man, I'm the next uh, Dez Bryant and this, this, and this and that, right? So I'm like, okay, all right, man, I'll come and see y'all. But these guys were really excited about it. I seen some of them even training, um, you know, going over strategies and things like that. Like they were just really, really hyped up and pumped up and excited about this, right? Because what you got to remember is these guys are supposed to be in regular school, but they're not at the moment while they're at the group home. So this is kind of the equivalent to like um, a student playing in like a school based sport. So like basketball, football, baseball, this is kind of the equivalent or as I would like to say simulation. So um, of course, these guys can't play sports in regular school because they're not in regular school right now. So this really, really gives them something to look forward to. And that's the beauty of the thing. Like what we try to do here is just make it as close to being at home than possible, right? Because the alternative to them being at this particular group home or place is they would be in jail or a teenage prison, right? And you know they don't have any type of um, um, sports activity. Um, well, you know, there's, well, I'm not going to say they don't have any sports activities in prison because, of course, there's very active in there, right? But I mean, as far as the format is, you know, like in school or something like that, right? You know, where they can like have more structure. That's the word I'm trying to say. So they have more structure to play against each other, right? So the whole group home thing is to kind of make it just simulated to being at home, learning what they need to learn um, in a home setting than really like a institutionalized uh, jail facility, right? Okay, all right. So now that I got that out the way, so um, this particular day, uh, they they was just telling us they was just telling the staff, you know, that they that if you had time to come by or if you were there on campus just to come and watch the guys play. They were really excited asking certain staff, hey, can you come see me play? So uh, just to see the excitement in the guys in their minds um, and just uh, the excitement in their eyes. Uh, that was a really good thing. Um, now, these guys, they play early in the morning, obviously, because it's about to get very hot and scorching. And, you know, me, I don't care how much I want to see the game. If it's too hot, I'm not going out there. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a really good event that these guys had. They were really taking it serious. A lot of them play, they normally play like a flag football type thing. Um independently with their own houses you know just because this is a no touch facility so we don't really want to have them tackling anybody we don't want anybody getting hurt so um that's just basically what what goes on um with the sports activities especially football now what makes it more exciting is we try to make it as real as possible so we have like referees out there some of the staff and the teachers will referee the game um, we had like Gatorade, 
and stuff on the side for these guys for them to drink you know just kind of just making it just kind of trying to make it i'm not going to say bigger than what it is but just making it as uh simulated to like a real game as possible um a lot of these guys were describing like what who's going to play what position who's better at this position so it's a really com really a competitive thing which it gives them the chance to get their competitive edge out but at the same time, it promotes teamwork, right? So that's another great thing about them being able to have the football game. Now, some of them asked me if I wanted to be a referee, and I'm like, hey, I don't, I don't know about all that, guys. You know, I just kind of just want to come and watch you guys, right? But it really, really meant a lot to these guys just to have, you know, certain people watching them. Um, they also do the same thing with, like, basketball. Sometimes we will have basketball games. I'll put out a video about that too, but we'll have basketball games as well where like uh, most of the staff uh, that are on campus will come and watch just to encourage the guys. You know what I mean? So I think that's a really good thing. So uh, yeah, today was um, a really good day. Just giving you guys a glimpse in the, you know, kind of like the sports thing. Um, but yeah, these guys, they really work hard. They play hard out there. So I really got to give them respect. Um, no real injuries per se. And another thing about this is on the sports team, like if somebody isn't as good, if you're in a regular school location, if you're not as good, then let's just be honest, you might not make the team, right? But here at the group home, uh, the way they do these sports um, events, everybody gets a chance to play, uh, no matter how good you are. Um, you might not play certain positions, but everybody just gets a chance to play and just show what they can do. Another great thing about it is sometimes, um, even though it's competitive, if there's a, a resident that's actually playing and he's not that good or he's not that fast or something, sometimes a resident that might be guarding him or chasing after him just might, just might let him get a touchdown or might let him just get a few extra yards on the play, which I think that's like very heart moving. You know what I mean? Just you know, just trying to show the the non-athletic kids, you know, a little love. Like, you don't want to... Now, that doesn't go for all of them. Some of these guys are super competitive. You try to come by them, they're going to snatch your flag right off. Like, they're just all about winning. But uh, half of the guys, you know, they kind of want to let everybody, uh, you know, get some shine or get some type of attention from playing the sports, um, from playing in this sports league, right? So that's what um, I think is very beautiful. But all in all, this was definitely a uh, successful event. Um, actually, in accordance, I mean, in addition to no no injuries, like we had very, no, we had no fights, thank God. Uh, very minimal arguments and non-compliance. Um, now, um, on this particular day, um, I've, I've made a video about the bands, which I'm gonna do an updated version. But if you have a certain band, then you really can't participate in physical activities. So not all the residents got to participate. Um, I know sometimes they make exceptions uh, depending on the situation. But, um, but you know, we had very, we had no fights. We had very little non-compliance. Uh, some of the non-compliance was coming from the kids. They really couldn't play. But, I mean, it wasn't extreme. Um, it's to be expected. But, yeah, these guys, they really enjoyed themselves. Um really proud of themselves. Um, I'm proud of them too for how they conducted themselves. Everybody had good sportsmanship, which is another thing that we promote um, during these events and um, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, it was a very um, successful event. Um, you know, man, we just try to provide events for these guys that have something to look forward to, just make them happy, just take their minds off, um, you know, the problems and the struggles that they have in their real life which is always a win. So I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated. I got a lot more videos to go. I'm definitely gonna get more consistent. I know I always say that, but I definitely will. Um, but yeah, it was a great event. The weather was amazing. Um, there were a few of the kids concerned about if it would rain, but as you can see, man, the sun is shining down on all of us, my brothers. <laughs> so this is going to wrap up this video. I hope you all have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. This is One Oak, and I am out. <laughs>